Hello there! In Starfield you can improve your combat effectiveness quite fast and without actually fighting someone. Well, kinda not fighting. You will get the idea pretty soon. After around 120 hours in the game, I can say that semi-automatic is the best option for rifles. Stealth build is possible, but kinda broken for now. So the first perks you need is your weapon type certification plus ballistics. If you want to deal physical damage. So let's get physical with your enemies. Maybe and I totally get it, you can find this type of gameplay sorta boring, but no worries. You can go berserker as well. Just let me kill this guy. Come on. Boom. In this video I will show you how to max out the most important perks for a rifleman build fast. Cause just normally playing it can take a while. And I start from the very beginning, giving you just some little heads up about important stuff you can do in the beginning. Just let me off this turret. Ok, now I'm ready. Obviously by maxing out just two perks it will not make you that good. But you will be fine and struggle less with lack of ammo and uh, bullet sponge enemies and everything else. Here by the way my difficulty. Gameplay very hard. But of course higher level you are easier the game gets. Yokis dokis. So the first perk you need to max out is this one. Ballistics. Here we have 30% more damage and the range is increased by 30%. So we are going to max out this one. And the second perk is rifle certification. Basically here what do we have, uh, 30% more damage and reload faster. Great. When you max out this two you can try something else like sniper certification for example. So actually here only rank 3 and rank 4 are great. As I told you earlier stealth is kinda broken in this game for now. But you need this perk anyways. Rank 4. Rank 3 is not enough. But obviously in the very beginning you will have some issues with skill points and you need a lot of them. Ok so let's get started. You know who you are? New recruit for Argos Extractors? Ring any bells? Any of this look familiar? Well the best class for us would be file not found. Because uh, yeah we have here ballistics and piloting. Wellness is ok. So let's go with this class. Speaking of traits I have wanted, then a united colonies native and finally taskmaster. Personally I strongly recommend you to grab just everything that has value. And what you can use in the future like injector. You'll be able to sell stuff for 10% of its nominal price. The first weapon in the game is a pistol, so called EON pistol. Hit this. It comes with some rounds. So we have ballistics, right? Kill 20 enemies with a ballistic weapon. Since it is the first fight, there is nothing difficult about it. Just stay under propulsion, watch beautiful animation and wait for them. For your enemies. Ok, I'm ready to fight. Let's go go go. Personally I just tag them here. Boom 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 boom. Boom boom boom. And go to hide myself. I'd say it's kinda crazy that you cannot one shoot them. Well actually maybe you can on very easy difficulty. I'm not sure. Let's kill the last guy. And don't forget to loot them, everyone. Just go. Well. Destroy three spaceships and get some sweet experience. Yay. Okay. Let's go to the grid. The most important thing now is to sleep for well rested bonus and store everything into your cargo unit. 
Okay, let's do it. And we are out. Now we can actually use rifle, but here's the thing. These dudes are very tanky. And that is why maybe it's better to set another difficult. I mean difficulty makes the game easier. We got the settings, gameplay, and uh, let's make it very easy. That is how we'll spend less bullets. But actually it doesn't matter. We don't fight them. We just get kills and some experience. That's all. Mmm, nutrient. Yummy, yummy. Let's set it back to heart. Okay, gameplay and uh, boom boom. We are ready. Back to the game. Here. Here I recommend you to grab just everything, well, everything valuable and useful, of course. Well, 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 rested bonus is active. Uh, yeah, so let's fight. Oy, 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 oy. My damage is so bad. Actually, headshots can be quite handy. Uh, quite handy. Like this. Mmm, explosives. Yummy. I recommend you to just stack enemies, save ammo for the future. And still five more corpses we need. And here they are. Anyways, it's better to persuade him for more experience, because why not? So you got past him. You'd better make a decision. A right decision and give me 10 experience. I have a theory. What if I plant a mine over here? Um, mm -mm. I have a better idea. Just shoot his head and the tank fuel right behind him. This dude is legendary. That means he will drop something with legendary mods. And keep in mind that you can redo the fight to get better something because his drop is random. So here's your first RNG experience with Rogan. Uh, what was your name? Wait. Choo -choo -choo, come here, my dude. Hey you. Stop. Ah, Rogan, Rogan. Okay, he's dead. And what do we have here? Ten experience and epic item. Hmm. Gonna sell it. Just in case, if you didn't know, in your ship you have some stuff to sell as well. Go here and over your bed you have this and uh, what else? Mm, oh, here, broken helmet and uh, this stuff, soil box. Well, sell everything. Believe me, you will need money to upgrade your ship, maybe to buy camps, for example. Snack pack. Okay. First we go to commercial district to sell stuff. <laughs> we have so much of everything to sell. Oh, well, certainly. Hello. Please be advised that you can reset your credits by just waiting 24 hours. That is how I got my first 11,000 credits. Almost a millionaire. Ciao, senorita. No, See you soon. Literally soon. Now we go to Mass Be District. Not to start the main quest. Believe me or not. Here we're gonna grab everything that has value. 600, 100, 200. Weight doesn't matter. Just grab everything you want. Maybe literally everything. And here, in addition to credit. And here, 8,000 caps. Oh, credits. I mean, credits, yes. And level 4. Nice, nice. Obviously, the next step would be to go and sell stuff. We have a whole bunch of everything. Bolstering is nice, but this spacesuit is garbage. Oh, by the way, this weapon is good to farm kills, so I need you suppressed. Yeah. Back to it then. Oh, it's even invisible. Welcome to Starfield 76. Hello, Vasco. I think we can go to it's residential a area to now. Work. Residential district. Choose a hood. There we have a weapon store, and we need one specific pew pew. I mean, no, we need suppressed uh, semi-automatic rifle. So 
here's the straw and here's suppressed mail storm storm if you can't find it just wait 24 hours and it will be there maybe if not wait another 24 hours something like this basically you need semi-automatic suppressed rifle and go to Hayam. Hayam. by the way don't miss out on porima system because you have a city over there and a short quest line and 300 experience you will get upon completing this short quest line okay i will enjoy nyan but in another system <laughs> bye bye speaking of porima here we are uh, well visit this city paraiso that's all <laughs> now let's go to hayam by the way, graph jumps are important in this guide because that is how you can get a whole bunch of level ups, meaning a whole bunch of skill points you need. So this system is Hayam, and uh, we go to this planet Hayam Dos or Two Hayam Two. It was in Spanish. We will land here. And here you will spend more or less 30 to 40 minutes. You will need around 500 bullets, uh, just in case, while shooting these dudes. And since you just farm kills, I strongly recommend to lower difficulty to very easy. We go to gameplay, very easy. And here you have it, the beautiful method to level up your uh, ballistics and uh, rifle certification. Obviously it will take you a while, but that is how you can improve weapon related skills, uh, say for shotties and melee, so you have ground targets as well. And uh, whenever you kill just every floater, go to another location on the same planet and keep the massacre life keep in mind that ground targets are not happy to see you around and they will attack you and they will kill you and you will not be able to fight them back yeah obviously you probably can do the same somewhere else but i did not find another planet uh, still and here the environment is not dangerous oh let's do it do it do it yay rank free available nice so let's go somewhere else the whole planet is super green the forest type surface is just everywhere yes you can achieve the same results just casually playing the game exploring planets but mostly you will find very few mobs at every location and I visited 90% of the world of worlds. Yay! Ballistics is maxed out. Nice. Maximum rank achieved. Uh, now let's do with rifles. Rifle certification. Every build in this game is doable, is viable, but uh, semi automatic rifles will be the best option because you don't need a lot of ammo and uh, you will be able to one shot almost all enemies on normal difficulty, right? On normal. And later you can max out sniper certification, but this perk is good at rank three and four, rank three and four. And once again, we have one little issue. So we have a rifle certification rank two already, but no skill points, sadly. Yeah, so maybe you may want to get a whole bunch of level ups just jumping around in space from one system to another. It takes like 10 minutes overall. Just fast travel somewhere, press map and uh, fast travel to another location. Like this, fast and easy. No worries, no one will be able to destroy your ship if you just fast travel around. <laughs> yeah, so no worries. 
You will be fine. Well, ladies and gents, obviously, if you know a better solution, let me know in the comment section. But at the moment, it is the easiest and the fastest way to rank up or max out your weapon certification perks or everything related to damage. And basically, that's it. Big thank you for watching. I will see you later. Bye bye bye. Bye.